Para, para Hey guys, so I'm starting out with priming my skin using the Technic Primer Spray and then I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold FX and then for my foundation I'm taking the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation I think it's called. I'm in the shade Fiji and I'm just blending it all onto my skin using a damp beauty blender. Then to cream contour, I'm using the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I'm just outlining all of the areas that I want to recede. And then I'm going in with a Models Prefer Airbrush Foundation Brush just to blend this all into my skin. Then to conceal, I'm taking Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand and I'm just applying this under my eyes and down the center of my face just to conceal and highlight and I'm also taking this onto my eyelids just to prime for my eyeshadows. Then to set everything down I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just taking a Sigma F35 and I'm basically just pressing this into the skin everywhere I applied my concealer. Then to powder contour, I'm mixing these two shades from the MAC Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Palette and I'm just carving out my cheekbones with a Sigma F05 brush and just using this to kind of warm up my face as well. And then for blush, I'm taking Milani Luminoso Blush, which is an oldie but a goodie, and I'm just buffing this onto my cheeks. And then to highlight, I'm taking this loose powder from MAC it's their iridescent loose powder in silver dusk. So I'm just applying this with an FO3 from Sigma to all of the high points of my face. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Peach Smoothie and I'm just buffing this with an E40 all through my crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going into this cool toned brown, which I believe is called Latte. And I'm just buffing this with my E40 once again, basically doing the exact same step. Then I'm going into the shade Desert Sands, which is this beautiful mustardy shade. And I'm taking my E40 once again, and I'm just buffing this into the crease and under the lash line. And I'm taking this a bit higher towards my brow just to kind of blow it out. Then I'm taking the shade Apple Spice and I am using an E25 from Sigma. This is just a bit more precise and I'm buffing this in the outer corner and all the way through the crease. And then I'm taking the shade Grunge which is this deep chocolatey brown and I'm doing the same thing just buffing this and working it up in the outer corner and then slowly bringing it in through the crease as well. Then I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is a matte black and I'm using a Sigma E38 brush just to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease. I'm basically just repeating these steps just with different colours. And then I went back in with Apple Spice on my E25 and I just added a little bit more of this above all of those darker shades into the crease just to make sure that warm tone stayed warm. And then back in with my E40 just to blend everything out. Then I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Palette and I'm taking this really light lavendery shade and I sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and I'm just packing this all over my eyelids and kind of cutting the crease as I go. As you can see, I tried to make it quite precise and then I brought a little bit of that underneath my lower lash line as well. Then just back in with my E25, I just wanted to blend everything out and I did add a little bit more of that grunge shade just in the outer corner. Then from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm taking this super light pinky shade and I'm just applying this to the very, very inner corners 
of the lid. I'm not putting this in my inner corner, um, just on the lid. And then I took the really bright white shade and highlighted my inner corners. Then I'm just tight lining and popping this in my waterline with my Sigma Black Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. And then I went in with the Quick Flick and I just stamped on my wings which ended up being absolutely huge. I did not intend for them to be this big, but it happened. So popped those on and then joined it all up with the liquid liner. Then I used the Tarte Gifted Mascara just to coat my lashes once over on the top and the bottom. And then for my falsies, I used the Makeup Geek Elegant Lashes, which are some of my absolute favorites. They are so beautiful. And then for lips, I took the Models Prefer Lip Liner in Always Nude and lined them. And then to fill them in, I took the MAC Lipstick in Really Me, which is this beautiful cool toned pink. And then to top it off, I took a Gerard Cosmetics Lip Cream in Angel Cake. And I just applied a bit of that and then blended it out with my finger. And that is the whole book. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.